Ahoy my friends, and welcome back for another story time with Doc. Tonight, we have another fantastic story for you. This one is How to Be a Pirate by Isaac Fitzgerald. And what's wonderful is, is that this is a girl pirate story. I think we need tons and tons of stories about girl pirates out there. There are tons of fabulous girl pirates out there. And as a matter of fact, the girls on the crew of the Pirates of Fortune Folly uh, actually do an entire show on the She-Wolves, which were some very ferocious and, and great women pirates. So um, be sure to check out the Pirates of Fortune's Folly page. Maybe at some point you'll be able to see a She-Wolves show up there. But let's go ahead and dig into How to Be a Pirate by Isaac Fitzgerald. <gasps> we haven't even started the story. It says, you can't be a pirate. Cece was mad. Who were those boys to say she couldn't be a pirate? They probably have never been on a boat. But Cece knew somebody who had. Grandpa! I'm in here, Cece. What's it like to be a pirate? Why do you think I would know anything about that? Grandpa asked. And tell me, why do you want to know about pirates? Cece took a deep breath. <gasps> Because, she said, the boys are pretending to be pirates, and I wanted to play too. I even brought my own sword. But they said you can't be a pirate. And what if they're right? I don't know how to be one, but maybe you do? Because of your ship. I know pirates have tattoos. So, I was thinking maybe you know all about them? Can you teach me? So, you want to know about pirates, huh? Asked Grandpa. Well, I guess the first thing a pirate needs to be is... A pirate seeks out adventure and isn't afraid of obstacles ahead. What else? SEC. <laughs> you have to be quick. A pirate is ready to react to danger at any moment. Whee! Another one, CC asked. It isn't all about danger, though, whispered Grandpa. A pirate knows how to have fun. Yippee! More, yelled CC. Another thing a pirate must be is independent. Having a good crew is important, but at the end of the day, a pirate must face her problems on her own. But do you know the most important quality a pirate should have? Asked Grandpa. It's something even more important than brave or quick or knowing how to have fun or even being independent? Is it treasure? CC asked. Or, or cannons? <laughs> the most important thing a person can have, pirate or not, is love. CC ran. 
her feet swift and her heart strong. I'm brave, I'm quick, I'm independent, and I'm fun. I love being a pirate. Well, how about that? She did get her wish after all. She did become a pirate and she learned how to be a very good one from some awesome lessons from her grandpa. And I will tell you, I absolutely agree with this story that love is one of the most important things that a pirate can know. Not only for yourself, but for everyone else. And I think if we all love each other just a little bit more, what a great and treasure-filled world this would be. Wouldn't you agree? Well, thank you for joining me for another fantastic story. You all have a wonderful good night, and I will see you next time on Storytime with Doc. Until then, be well.